course with the 100 metres of Butterfly. Light put in one. Seabom Lee in two. Hauk is in three. Smith is in four. Pollard five. Rogerson six. Walker seven. And Hawk is in eight. Well, Australia hasn't been that success successful at the Olympic Games over time. In fact, the last time we won an Olympic medal was Rob Woodhouse way back in 1984, Emma McKeon's uncle. And Alex Bauman, now the CEO of Swimming Australia, won the gold medal at those 84 Olympic Games. We've had some success, people like Matt Dunn, but we haven't had anyone on the Olympic podium since 84. These young men are actually racing for the first time to make an Olympic team. None of them have ever been in an Olympic trials final before. And as it stands at the moment, Brendan Smith in front and uh, Seabom Lee is uh, trying to go with him. He's about half a button behind as we turn at the 100. Not a bad turn time, 56.89 for the first split. Brendan moved through very well. He was quite long on the finish. With coming into Butterfly can be very, very frustrating, but he's transitioned well into the backstroke leg. You can see here right in the middle of the lane. That's where you want to look nice and Seabom out in late two is starting to move through on this backstroke leg. Yes, yeah, Seabom Lee has battled that shoulder injury, as Nicole said, but I know that over the last six weeks he's replicated the program that he used in the lead-up to 2019 when he swam that 4.15. And during... So at the moment... Uh, I know that the Carlisle uh, team uh, believe that he can pull out something special today. And Johnny's a very good 200 metres backstroker. He's making a big move on Brendan Smith. They're going to go into breaststroke, which is a leg-dominated stroke, so they've been very smart in trying to save their legs in that backstroke. So it's still pretty tight. We'll see who is the, the better of the two breaststrokers. Uh, the two of them well out in front at the moment. Trying to stay with them is Thomas Howe. Already seeing just a little bit of oxygen. Brendan Smith coming through to the breaststroke leg. His backstroke was around a one minute four seconds for his split there. As we're taking a look underwater with Brendan coming around at the 50 metre mark so he's doing pretty well actually John I look at that and Seabom Lee is not taking any water away from him but not giving up the fight either no he isn't the danger for Seabom Lee is going to be this last hundred does he have the background does he have the energy white line is telling us that they're both in front of the Olympic qualifying time. And this is going to be one of the toughest transitions that you do in swimming. It's coming out of this breaststroke leg into the freestyle. You've got to change your complete rhythm. You've got to get the legs turned on as quick as you can. Coming through in a 313.31 is very, very quick. He's right on track for a 412 or 413. The question is, can Seabom get under that 415.24, that Olympic qualifying time? It'll take a PB, that's for sure. Smith, he's going to make it. Unless he collapses. Sloping, breathing only off to the left-hand side. Takes a look to the right-hand side to see where the field is. Coming home now, you're right, Grant. 3.42, so he, if he can drop a 28 seconds, he's probably looking at around a 4.11. Well, the Australian record here might be in doubt. Four following very quickly is Kieran Pollard. Yeah, and also following very quickly is that qualifying time. Smith's going to make it, though. Smith's going to go to Tokyo. He's made it for sure. Seabom Lee's going to hang on as well. Two of them will qualify. An Australian record for Smith. Seabom Lee with a qualifying time. What a time. He has almost broken that magic barrier of four minutes and ten seconds. There's his family. Well done to Wayne Laws, his coach at Nunawading Swimming Club. What a swim. And Thomas Fraser Holmes records a swim. 04. A terrific effort. And Seabom Lee as well from Carlisle Swimming. Great.